Hello there. Uh, this is MD Rulaf, sir. Welcome back to Dynamic Troubleshooters channel. I hope all of you are uh, doing well. Uh, today I'm going to show you how can you upgrade your uh, Fortifone uh, firmware from uh, Fortiverse Enterprise 300 model. Okay. To do this, at first I need to connect to my office network through so IPsec remote VPN. So here we go. I'm going to connect with my uh, office network through this IPsec VPN. Now I'm already connected. Now, uh, now I can log in to my office's private network. Here we are. Uh, here is the um, 40 OS Enterprise login window. Here, I'm going to log in to my system. Here it is. I'm already logged in. So, to upgrade your system, what types of uh, procedure you will have to take? Okay, at first, uh, you need to go there and you need to review your uh, current uh, 41 firmware, which is uh, going to be upgraded to. Uh, most recent uh, firmware version here uh, you can see uh, at my 44.175 model and the firmware version is 2405670 okay now I'm going to upgrade this version to <coughs> newer one which I already um, downloaded Okay, now I'm going to upgrade my uh, Fortifone Farmer from uh, 2405672. I'm strongly recommended to do any kind of upgradation. Before uh, do any kind of upgradation, you must check the release note and you must check the upgrade path, which is recommended or not. From your uh, current farmer version to the newest farmer version if it is not recommended you have to follow the upgrade path i mean at first uh, you need to upgrade your system from your uh, current version to 5618 then you need to go 5670 then you need to go 5672 if your farmer version is current firmware version is uh, 232 suppose that then according to the um, upgrade path recommendation by uh, 40 gate or 40 net then you can go to the next version this one then this one then this one it is recommended so before doing any kind of upgradation you must check the release node in release node you will have uh, the change lock I mean, uh, which is going to be changed, what types of effect uh, will be uh, take at your uh, systems, at your uh, um, device systems or telephone systems. Uh, without considering, without checking uh, release don't you don't need to uh, upgrade your uh, system, otherwise you will face uh, consequences. Okay. So, let's go. Here I am going to review. At first, I am going to review my telephone uh, farmer system, which is already upgraded to 2.4.0, uh, 5670, which I updated last time from my uh, from uh, 232 actually uh, farmer version. So I am going to upgrade my 2.4.0.5670 to newer version how can i do that to do that 
I have to go there advanced setting phone management then phone maintenance okay uh, before going to uh, for man phone maintenance I have to go manage okay so to go to manage you have to select one uh, phone profile here you can see I already uploaded I already uploaded the firmware version uh, to uh, Fortify system how can I do that here uh, by selecting upload then choose the file which is uh, there from there I select this one and this one to upload here okay after selecting the file and you need to click on update uh, upload after that it will be uploaded to there now I'm going to upgrade this firmware to my uh, current phone system to do that at first i have to click on that and then i have to activate the firmware okay then it will uh, ask do you want to create a firmware upgrade job okay i have to click on yes then it will redirect a page uh, where which is a upgrade job uh, phase where you can configure in which time you are going to update your system okay so here I'm selecting I'm just uh, giving it the name task name great 44 1, 7, 5, 2, 5, 6, 7, 2. Okay. Uh, here I'm going to select the start time, which is the current date. And I'm going to select 8, um, 32 and end time will be 26 my name actually uh, you will see uh, each and every extension which is uh, related to uh, 44 175 model here you have to okay I'm just revoking them from there because I wanted to uh, implement the uh, firewall, uh, implement the firmware on each and every extension which is belongs to the uh, 48 uh, 44 175 model. Okay, I'm just cross checking each and every one. Okay then finally i'm going to create the task okay after that now uh, the time already here i'm going to select 834 34 35 So here you can see the up, uh, <coughs> progress from there. Okay, here is a task list which is just created by me. Then after selecting the task list, you can see phone status here. You can see. Uh, at first uh, it will check 
it will uh, gather some information uh, in this types of a stage <coughs> where at first it is waiting then require information notify the system for information then after getting the <coughs> current firmer version or system information from 44 then it will show us this uh, on the stage uh, ready that means previous uh, steps already checked then it will going to notify the 40 phone that I am going to upgrade your system after that you will have the status confirm that is the format is downloaded to the system and confirmed to the system but uh, after a successful restart it will shows firmware is confirmed okay here is the S stage which is which is uh, followed by um, for your system to upgrade any kinds of uh, 40 phone okay when you give a refresh you are going to notice that each and every phone status uh, randomly change okay then you can see that it is notified the this one is uh, ready then you can see other such stage as well so you can see now almost uh, half a two third of the telephone are going to be uh, already in a status with uh, notified status notified state okay when it is notified that means the device is uh, notified to to firmware update in this state uh, you are going to see the phone status is unavailable after that it is available that means the firmware is uh, going to be upgraded to newer version that means it is confirmed to this phone system that you are going to be upgraded to uh, Firmware version uh, 5672 240 5672. Then you can randomly see the status changes of each and every phone. Okay, now you can see maximum of this phone are going to be uh, are currently on confirmed state. So I'm I will be back when it is shows firmware confirmed. When it is shows, uh, then the firmware application job or process is done. Now you can see uh, some of the extension or some of the forty phone already confirmed firmware confirmed state. Now you can see my former version 240.5672 from there you can uh, filtering you can filter uh, by using the state when you select firmware confirm it is going to be shown which is already upgraded which is already uh, upgraded to new version of this firmware then you can see which is uh, who, who, which telephone are currently on confirm state which is on notified state there is none of them are notified state all of them are in confirm state where almost uh, each of them are in farmer confirm state that means the uh, telephone farmer system all of the telephone farmer system successfully upgraded to uh, 40 phone 240 version so that's it okay in my next video I'm going to show how can you upgrade your 40 phone 675i firmware version to newer version okay
that's it after that you can go to review okay which is actually uh, similar which already shown in the okay here you can see the current farmer status and telephone status okay farmer confirmed that is almost everyone every telephone is upgraded to farmer version 240-0672 okay here each and every extension means uh, each and every telephone which is uh, belongs to each and every extension okay and then you can see my extension here you can see what you found six seven five by uh, here we are using almost uh, 1044 uh, 675i for, uh, for our top management which is supported uh, video calling HD video calling and lots of other features which is actually amazing telephone model okay I'm going to uh, make an upcoming videos on 44675i how can you upgrade the system and whatever okay that's it and thank you for uh, watching <coughs> thank you for watching and uh, this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell button if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos okay thanks again goodbye